Good evening, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving, but not the Thanksgiving where we put my native brothers and sisters down. This is Thanksgiving of total gratitude. That American holiday, I'm just like, sometimes I get like fizzed out about that. But what I am gonna talk about is gratitude. Gratitude, you know, this is a special day because I wanna celebrate the gratitude for earth and being alive and people in my life. I'm gonna talk probably about different people. I got gratitude for my boy Derek and Gino helping me do this. I got, I've been up every day for the last five days from 12.30 to uh, 5.30. And we're gonna talk about gratitude. But before we do that, I got this clip I want y'all to watch. Preparation for Thanksgiving. Roll them, Derek. I'm in here talking about you hungry. I'm not cooking. Thanksgiving is next week. What? You better eat a sandwich. Thanksgiving is in five days. I'm, I'm no. You better eat a sandwich. I'm not cooking. Five days is Thanksgiving. Wait a minute. What you say? I ain't stopping at no motherfucking McDonald's. Thanksgiving is in four days. But three, four days. Thanksgiving in four days. I'm not spending no money on no restaurant food. You can get out of my room. Tell me about you hungry. It's some frozen pizzas in there. It's some hot dogs, some noodles, some peanut butter and jelly. Hell, eat a mayonnaise sandwich. Eat a, <laughs> eat a sugar sandwich. I'm ain't cooking. Thanksgiving is in two days. That's when I cook. <laughs> Listen, you've been fucking bothering me all week. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Get out of my kitchen. You you eat tomorrow. I, I don't give a goddamn. You won't eat today. You eat tomorrow. Okay? That's it. That's all. Get out of here. Come back to him no more. Turn my music back up. <laughs> okay, people. Happy Thanksgiving. That's it. <laughs> I love that video. A friend of mine sent me that. And I used to, I cook all the time. I do majority of cooking in this house. And uh, when the kids were living with me, I used, they, I used to feel that way. It's like they come at you and I'm like, man, I'm about to cook. Like, I'm, I'm starting cooking today for Thursday. But the cool thing this year is Makita and Adia. I'm coming over tomorrow night and uh, and they're coming on Thursday morning to help cook because they say I said, I'm not doing it like this anymore. But that video captured the energy of of how people feel like this huge preparation with food. And I think that one of the things about the food, I'm going to grab my menu for the week so you guys see what we have for dinner. So I think the piece that really gets me is like breaking bread. It's something special about putting love and stuff and bringing people around the table and celebrating living uh, and being cognizant of us with each other. Not really the holiday stuff. I'm not like, you know, the Christmas thing is cool and stuff, but not that the flair of being together, the, the friends, the family, especially if they tight, no bullshit, but people who really tight. So happy Thanksgiving, happy gratitude week. Welcome to Orgasmic, Con Orgasmic Conscious Cooking. I'm John Ashford beingjohnashford.com. You can also go to YouTube, Being John Ashford. Come check out. Please, if you like this, if you want to make me happy, if you want to give me any gift during the holiday, please subscribe and send this to some friends. And ask them to subscribe. I'm up at 300. It would be like a huge contribution if we can get to 1,000 by the new year. Okay? That's a big ask for me, from everybody. See if you guys can help make that happen. So we're going to head and get started, but we're going to do a cocktail because I'm going to tell you all some shit. Uh, Yes, yes, Tori. Love sharing. We got some family being here with us. It's just a special time, especially when you have cool ass people and cool ass family if you like them. You know, most people don't know we're gonna need time for that. But okay. I got a lot of things I'm gonna do tonight, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with a cocktail. Because in December, I'm gonna probably do cocktails with each show. But this was a Thanksgiving cocktail, and this is something that I looked up because I love amaretto and I love coconut. So this is called a toasted coconut. Okay, so I got a little frosty glass here. I put in the freezer, got an ice cube in there. And what I'm gonna do, I have some ice in here. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a shot of vodka. See, I'm not gonna, so I'm gonna tell y'all this story. So uh, a week ago, we were filming. Y'all remember when we was filming? And uh, we ended, and I started saying, Derek, it's a wrap, let's go. My brother had a cocktail. You got it about your brother here. He fell asleep while we were recording. That shit was funny as hell to me. I was just like, I hung up. I was like, I hope he's okay. I told my wife, Tori, I said, is he okay? Oh boy, fell asleep. I said, ain't that a bitch. 
Okay, you got a shot of Amaretto. Couldn't get this top off here in the earlier though. And I'm gonna just, and it's the coconut. It's, I mean, the Kahlua, grateful for all your friends out there. Uh, Shed right, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is a shot of Kahlua. It's kind of sweet. Tori's like, yeah, you should be drinking on it, but I'm gonna do this, so. I got my Kahlua in here. I might have to go buy some more Kahlua and Amaretto for the holidays because I think my kids are going to like this drink. And then I'm two, two shots of coconut milk. You can use coconut cream if you desire. But I'm not usually call for cream, but uh, uh, Tori and I don't do, let's do half of that. We don't do that much dairy. And so I'm trying to change it up. That over here, like that. Put this top on here. Take that shit up. Let it chill a little bit while it's chilling. Let me tell you what's on the menu at our house Thanksgiving. We're going to have monkey bread. The help of Makita and Adia are going to come over and we're going to do that. We have cram, uh, uh, cornbread stuffing. We have uh, beef sirloin. You guys can see me how. Uh, this drink sounds delicious. I know, babe. It, it, I can't wait to taste it. We have beef sirloin tip, uh, tip. We have Cornish game hands, sweet potatoes, greens, string beans by Alexis. Uh, what is it? Cheese. Uh, I guess uh, my son is doing oh, cheese potatoes, mac and cheese by Helene, uh, rum cake by Adia, and lemon bars by Makita. And uh, what else? Is, I got, oh, I have kale soup. We're going to have kale soup as an appetizer. We have some shrimp as an appetizer. We got a bunch of different appetizers. Uh, uh, my boy Majestic is going to come through, and I know he loves that. And I have greens. The, a lot of the vegetables are just done strictly vegetarian. No meat, nothing like that. Well, that's going to be the new thing because we have all these sides with other dairy and uh, other crazy stuff in it. But let's see what this cocktail tastes like, y'all. It's supposed to taste like a toasted, if I get the top off, a toasted... Uh, Toast a uh, popsicle or whatever. Let's see what happens. Man, y'all gonna be eating up some shit, huh? Yeah, partner. You got Toast. a lot of things on the menu, bro. That, damn, y'all. Damn. Dear, I might... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> to my brother, dear blocker, mad love for you. A toasted almond, this is called. Y'all remember when y'all were little, at least in Chicago, they had the ice cream truck and the toasted almond ice cream bar? That's what that tastes like. Kind of. I ain't going to be able to forget the show's done. Mm, mm, mm. Just messing, dear. Just messing. Okay. That's delicious. Okay. So, not make a mess. So, what we got, what we gonna do? Uh, Tori said, laugh. Uh, LOL, dear. Uh, you have to come. Yeah, dear, you gotta come here and check us out. So, what I'm gonna start off with is that I like to do everything from scratch. When I first met my wife, she asked me some questions about doing, uh, having cranberry sauce. And she was going to go to the store and get a can of that. And I looked at her. I was like, baby, I can't do that. That shit is just jelly in a, a can. Ain't no cranberries in that. Like my grandmother say, baby, it ain't nothing in that. It's just juice with gelatin. Can't mess with it. I'm going to show you guys a variation of this and how easy and how quick it is to, to, to create. Okay. So. Most important thing you have to start off with are rinse 12 ounces of cranberries. Okay, I got the eye on over there. Don't burn anything up. Okay, so I have 12 ounces of cranberry. If I don't make a mess, hold on. I hope the noise don't bother you. Hang out with me for a little bit. Okay, so you have 12 ounces of cranberries. One pair of your, of your desire. A half a cup of sugar, 
See, I used to do a cup, but I break it down to half a cup. It's separated. Okay. I got this orange is going to have a two purpose, uh, dual purpose tonight. Dual purpose, dual purpose. Okay. We got all this plastic. You just know it's so bad in the United States, you got to have everything so sealed up because there's crazy people out there. So what you're going to do? Okay. I always put your tops on stuff. If you make a mess, it don't go everywhere. One cup of, uh, oh, so one cup of orange juice. Okay, let me put a little bit more in there. I have a little bit more in there. Okay. Now, cinnamon stick. My wife found this recipe. Can shit is good. Can shit ain't good, y'all. Don't let her fool you. Don't go buy that shit. You're going to be mad as hell. Well, after you see this, and if you could taste this, drop a cinnamon stick in that joint. Okay? We making this sexy as hell. Okay? My eye getting hot over there. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Turn that up. Uh, ginger. Hold this over here like this. I'd be very careful. I've been doing this for a while. Let me make sure I pay attention because you can cut yourself with this. But I've been doing this. I've been, I got Pamela Maria hands in the kitchen now. So I've been cooking long enough. You know, I graduated a little bit now, y'all. Got two slices of, of, of ginger, which is probably about like two tablespoons. I'm going to use the rest of this for my, shh, you have to see. Stick around. And orange, uh, orange, like I'll take the top off, orange liqueur, contru. Bam. Stick this on the eye. Let it cook. It's going to cook for about five minutes. Okay. And what's going to happen. Mm, you can already taste the pure joy in that. Hope, what's up? Hope Haddock. How you doing, sis? Homemade cranberry sauce. Right, right. Can be eaten as a dessert. Yeah. It has a pear in there. It's country. Uh, ginger. Cinnamon stick. Oh, wow. One thing I forgot. And this is weird. A half a teaspoon of salt. That's new. I remember I was like, I'm missing something. I made a little bit of mess. Got salt a little bit everywhere. Fourth teaspoon of salt. Get this to actually cook it up. Now, wipe off my station. See what happens. You don't want to make a mess. If that was sugar, you have a problem. Salt's a little bit different. It doesn't. Uh, actually melt so okay now we got that all set settled now I'm going to bring you all to something different okay this is organic piece of beef it's probably about mm, four pounds uh, it's a sirloin roast uh, I'm going to cook it. So this, this is what it looks like now. So, oh, here's the piece. So what you guys are going to be able to do, you're going to hang out with me this week. As I produce the food for this Thanksgiving dinner, I'm going to record when I'm on the grill, the desserts tomorrow night. Probably going to have to arm wrestle my daughters. Like, yeah, don't turn that off. It's just us. I'll just, and then I'll just come in here by myself and just talk about what we're doing. But this roast is going to be done slowly on. It's going to take about four to five hours on the Traeger grill. You'll watch me dress it and then put the drink down. I'll put the drink down, baby. I'll put the drink down. Yeah, I'm celebrating. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Don't you wish it was me? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress this tonight. You guys will see the seasoning I'm going to put on it. And then... As it cooks, I'm going to take barbecue sauce and let me show you guys this other sauce. Barbecue sauce. 
hope I have some more of this, and sweet chili sauce. Mix it together, and as it cooks, I put it on the outside of this. Once it's cooked, every slice gets a little love of that rub. <sighs> Y'all, isn't that orgasmic to you? Ooh wee. Wow. Another sip of the drink. Here, toasted almond bar. Let me pour the rest in. I don't want this to waste at all. Toasted almond bar, like uh, Eddie Murphy used to say. Baby, we made toasted almond bar. Delicious. Okay. So, where am I? This gets messy, so you're going to wash your hands a lot. Oh, wow. Sounds amazing. Thank you, sister. So, what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a little olive oil on here. I'm going to massage the olive oil on here afterwards. And a little bit of Dijon mustard. Probably like a table. I'm almost out of that. Damn, Tori's going to be like, I ain't going to the store no more. Me neither. We good. It's going to work. We're going to make it work. Y'all see that? Mm. Get it all in there. So this is going to go back in the fridge. It's going to sit for two days. Oh, my God. Check on my, yeah. So I don't want that to overboil because it's sugar. It gets really messy. So I'm going to turn it way down. And I'm going to put the timer on. I'm going to explain that in a second what's going to happen. Okay. So I'll come back to the meat in a second. There's this stuff called pectin in fruit and cranberries. And when it's released, that's what makes it gel, the pectin in the fruit. And so my mom was the one who used to, I've ne we never had it, uh, canned cranberry sauce, always had this. And so what you're gonna do is you wanna cook, the, you wanna cook some of the liquid down so the sugar in the orange juice becomes a syrup. And you really mill it pretty much like my sister said, Shan uh, uh, said early, you're making a dessert, but it's a nice, sweet condiment that goes with salty or savory things that are going to be on the table. Okay, there we go. There we go. I knew it. See that? See that? I caught it before it became a mess. Take the top off. So this is, you know, upfront and personal. You guys see me cook like this because when things like this occur, you want to always make sure you keep things around. So when you make a mess when you're cooking, you don't burn yourself. You don't burn up the house. You don't have smoky ingredients in the house because it's overboiled. So I'm going to take this top off like this. Keep it halfway off so the steam can be released. So what we're going to do, put that there. Okay. So because I cook so much, I have my brisket seasoning that I'm going to put over uh, the, the sirloin, okay? And it's going to be really heavy, okay? You're going to be like, man, that's a lot. Yes, because it's only going to be on the outside of it, okay? My dry rub that goes on here. See? Rub a dub dub. A sirloin in the tub. Now. So what's in here, you're probably asking me? Oh, I should say that. This, this butt in is not covered. I don't want to leave the butt out. The butt wants some love, too. Butts need love, too. Kind of sexy, huh? Y'all know I'm kind of freaky anyway. Get me in the kitchen. Yeah, you can follow me on YouTube. Yes, it's going to be released on YouTube. It won't, it'll be live, I think, on Facebook or less, because I'm not going to ask Derek to do this, so. 
he probably gonna fall asleep on you know anyway gotta fuck with him okay so what's in there i'll explain that in a second let me lift my hands so i hate my backs to you but anyway really important that you keep on washing your hands okay so what's in here brown sugar let's see the cranberry sauce will complement the roast exactly yes and i'm sure you guys wait till you guys see these birds that i'm about to jump on <laughs> anyway the drink's hitting me uh derek is hitting me so all right i mean, I mean, you know, I mean huh? how long you gonna keep roasting me about falling asleep you know <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's gonna be a long time i got mad love for your ass that's why <laughs> so this is the finished product that's gonna be wrapped up we're gonna put in that refrigerator i'll do that after i get off the air wrap it put it in the fridge i'll sit like this for until uh thanksgiving morning then i'll put it on the traeger and smoke it for four hours and internal uh, temperature will be 138 degrees. Anything over will make it too tough. Uh, the reason I add olive oil is not that much fat on that roast. So I want to make sure it has some oil on it. The mustard gives it a different flavor. But you have uh, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, brown sugar, cayenne, uh, Italian seasoning, and uh, paprika. Boom. No, not boom, no, uh, chili powder. Those flavors. Now, nothing else is going to happen when, until that sauce goes, starts going on there. The sweet sauce goes on the top of that. Mamma mia. Anyway, now, y'all think that was sexy. We about to jump into some crazy shit right now, y'all. We about to get buck wild. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay. Let me clear this off so you guys can see what I'm about to do. It's about to go down. Okay, you know something? Let me add something to this. I forgot something. I want some of the zest, and I want you guys to see what the zest is. It's just the outside of the orange. Without dropping that joint in there, because I won't hear the end of it from Derek Oratory if I do that. So. So I'm gonna let that keep on cooking down because I want the sugar out of that to reduce or the liquid to reduce out of that. It looks like it's doing its thing. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like as it cooks. You guys see that? That pear, that ginger, that orange juice, that zest, oh my. Okay, so now, are y'all ready? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah, let me get this out of the way. I won't be needing no more cinnamon. So we got two types of birds that we're doing. One type of bird, two different flavors, I should say. Let me correct that. The first bird well, let me introduce you to Mr. Bird. I'm gonna see if I can introduce you guys to Mr. Bird. Bam. <laughs> this is Mr. or Mrs. Cornish Game Hand. Okay, it's Mrs. I guess it's a hand. You see it's walking, and I guess it'll be like this. Okay. Cornish game here, okay? Husk knife. You guys remember when I showed you about this knife? I swear by this knife. This knife is so dope. I'm gonna show you how deep and how dope this is without cutting myself. So what I decided is that I'm going to split the bird in half so that it's flat, okay? That means it will quick cook quicker I'll start it bone side down. I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay? So this is knife is deep. So watch this. You have to have the right twos. My father-in-law told me that once before he uh, he does pork's concrete when he was working. If you have the right twos, you can do anything. Now, look. Flat bird, right? So what's going to happen is 
this bird will cook like this on the grill. I'm gonna start a bone side down. Let me tell you why. The fat of the skin is gonna drop the fat into the meat. The bone's gonna heat up and it's gonna cook the meat because once the bone gets hot, it helps kick the flesh quicker. A little science behind that. So y'all see this? Beautiful bird, beautiful bird. So let me grab four more of these joints. So let's see, one, I have 10 birds that I'm doing, okay? So one, two, three, four, she makes five. Turn her over side like that. I'm gonna show you what's going about to go down, okay? Get this out of the way. I have to wash my hands multiple times here, guys, because birds have this disease. You guys know what it's called? Anybody? I'm gonna let you guys marinate on that for a second. Birds carry a disease that is not very user friendly for us. It doesn't affect dogs. Salmonella. Uh, huh? Salmonella. Salmonella, you know it. So you gotta use a lot of soap, lots of soap. So, so the first batch of wait, birds. You say, wait, hold on, did you say soap? I use a lot of soap to wash my hands when I mess with uh, birds. You wash your hands. You're not you're yeah. not washing the bird with soap. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Did you see that video? Nah. Somebody somebody was washing the bird with soap. Motherfucker don't know what they doing in the kitchen. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Stay out the damn kitchen. Okay, where's my measuring cup? So, what we're gonna do? It's gonna get kind of messy in here. OK, and I've never done this. I, I need actually a bigger pot, but I don't have a bigger pot. I realize that uh, usually I just pour this over there, but it's OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cup. This is one third cup. That's tamari sauce. I'm gonna need this because I'm gonna need this again for the next set of birds. Okay. Now, this, the first time I saw this was like maybe 40 years ago when I went to Jamaica the first time. This is the jerk spice I use, Walker Wood, traditional Jamaican jerk. Okay. I learned a brother from Jamaica, Michael, uh, Show me how to make this years ago. So what I'm going to do, I, my wife doesn't like a lot of spicy, so I'm not going to use all of this. We had a friend, Taylor and, and uh, Kevin, they actually made something. They used the whole jar. That would make your butthole blow up. We're not going to do that this time. I'm gonna use it. These are some big ass birds, though. That's it. So that's about is that six teaspoons of this. I didn't count, but I'm going to let you see what it looks like because we have five birds. OK. We put a cup of tamari. Like maybe like a fourth cup of the jerk spice. So you guys to see that. OK. Now, this one, I get really sexy with y'all. I'm going to put. I'm going to measure so you guys can see because I know what it looks like. So this way I'll know. This is salt. This is my marinade. It's gonna soak in here. Two, three. Okay. Lots of salt, right? Not really, because this is gonna just soak in that marinade. Okay. Just trust me. So have that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna measure this too. Garlic, one, two, three. Okay. 
And Ooh wee. And we got onion powder. Now my wife is like, since she's become a little bit, uh, possibilities change. She's not that crazy about onions, so I'm just gonna put just a tablespoon of that in there. Cause I usually chop onions up in there, but I'm not gonna chop any onions up in there. There you go. Okay. Y'all follow me? Y'all still out there with me? Some of y'all might, yeah, this is not for the weak of heart. I, I get it. I'm gonna show you something. The cranberry sauce is cooking down. Derek, I can hear you like, you need a camera. But see that camera, it's slowly cooking down. I want the syrup to become syrupy. So it's gonna start to caramelize. Secret ingredient, lemons. One, this is a half. I'm giving y'all my secret. I've never really showed people how I do my jerk stuff, but y'all seen it firsthand. Firsthand. I don't think I'm gonna need all this juice. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't get this juice any place. Now, get my cocktail out of the way because I don't want any chicken, any poultry juice, salmonella jumping in my drink. I don't know salmonella can live with alcohol though. That might be a question. Okay, gotta put the prep for an amazing holiday. You know it, baby. So, here's to you, mama. A toasted bar. A garbage bag, right? I was gonna use some other bags, but I'm, I like using this and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the birds, once I stir them up a little bit, I'm gonna open this bag up right now. I'm gonna flatten the bag out. Let me get this out of the way. Cause I don't want any of this juice to get in anything else and contaminate anything. So bear with me y'all. Okay. I'm gonna turn my hot water off on over there. So when I'm ready to wash my hands, I'm good to go. Okay, so you see how that all opened up, right? You see this, right? That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep on, just keep on turning it. Keep on turning it. Keep on turning it. You see that? Don't get it in your mouth or your eye. Cause these, the, the, the pepper that's in this sauce, I'll read what's the ingredients in here. There's a sauce in there, dude. Damn, you would be all day. I'd be, be like, baby, take me to the hospital. I done messed up. So you have to play with your meat. That sounds kind of weird. Yeah. Unscented garbage bags. Yeah, babe. Thank you. Unscented. Okay. Unscented. Y'all see that? What I'm doing, I'm getting it all marinated. What's going to happen? See how I move things because it's splashing and shit? Okay. And what's gonna happen, so tomorrow morning before I go to work, what I'll do is I'll turn the bag. When I get home, I'll turn the bag. When I wake up in the morning, I'll turn the bag because they're gonna lay in here flat inside the juice. The marinade, marination or marinate, the, the marinate will actually be tossed in the bag. And I it's easier to manipulate the bag than the smaller bags. Scotch bonnet peppers, yep, hot as hell. Okay, and, I, and if you want it hotter, you could add a couple more spoons. But my wife don't like it, I know she likes jerk, so. So what we gonna do is like this, so. That's what it looked like, y'all, you see that? So what we gonna do, flatten out like that. Flatten out like that. See it? See that? All dress. And so when it cooks, y'all see when I do it, I'll cook it face down first or open side down. I'm gonna keep it up like this because it's gonna help me out with my madness. And I don't want the pokey bones to poke my bag. Hmm. Use my head for more than the hat rack. I'm 
my last bird. You see that? Uh. Uh. Now, y'all got to bear with me for a second. But I'm back to you. Okay, I'm gonna do something right here. Just got my next one's coming over. Y'all gonna be like, "What is he doing? What's he up to?" Magic, y'all. I'm up to magic. When I get in the kitchen, magic happens. Okay. Next turn, but we gotta do, we gonna finish this first first. So let me wash my hands. Add me some soap. Make sure I get all that salmonella off of there. Sorry about back to y'all, but I can't make my people sick. Don't want to make myself sick. Okay. So before I close that off, see if it's doing what it do. Yeah. That's looking delicious. I'll taste it and let you guys see what it looks like. Keep on cooking down. Now, watch this. Wash my hands again because that's bird juice everywhere. The bird man is in the room. Now, see that? Get the air out, let the gas out. Shh. Hands, beef, berries. Oh my, you know it, babe. So I want the air out of this. Why these bags? Because they're garbage bags. They're hefty. I need to learn more recipes like this. My pleasure. Says, come on, come back. Every Tuesday we're here. Every Tuesday. Unless I'm at a foundation class or a bars class or I'm out of town with my parents. Okay. So. Won't be open until the morning of. That'll go in the fridge as soon as I'm finished. Okay. Y'all ready for the next round? Ding, 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 ding. Looks like an old Muhammad Ali fight. Can you guys guess the next flavor? Anybody? I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds. While you guys are guessing what the next flavor might be, you might see some of the ingredients sitting over here. I'm uh, going to have a sip of the toasted almond bar. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Y'all got me? I don't want that to fall over. I want my drink to fall over. So, gratitude. I'm going to talk to you guys. The last five days, I've been particip participating in a class called Maestro. It was in Rome. Uh, my buddy, Dane here, was teaching the class. And we just got together as a group of people and applied our oneness with each other and create another possibility on planet Earth. And for that, for all those participants, I dedicate this class to y'all. Um, I had an epiphany, a bunch of epiphanies happened during this class. And I, I decided that for this show, I was gonna talk about just gratitude and oneness. Meanwhile, a lot of people on planet Earth are fighting against each other, finding how to keep people down, their God's bigger than their one person's God, all of that shit. Women's losing rights because men feel like they can domineer and control women without asking them any questions. This is a survey. How many men would let women make a decision about any body part they have? Just think about that for a second. And think about what's going on. This is just people in the United States. This doesn't apply to anybody else. Wink, wink. Other people like this around the planet. There are supposedly some people killed 
in the Middle East because some women had some different opinions. I'm not here to judge anybody, y'all. I'm just asking, where is the oneness? Where is the gratitude for people being different? You don't have to agree all the fucking time. Okay. Gratitude. I'm gratitude for the planet, for those animals, my cat sitting over there, my wife, my parents, my kids coming over to help me cook, the Native Americans who shared their land and those taken off the land, for the indigenous people, my people coming here, for the Europeans coming here, those people coming together to find another way. Some of us didn't come here that same way, so I'm not stupid, but we are here together right now. So what's the other possibility? Hey, y'all figured out the flavor? I'm gonna get off the horse now. Teriyaki, boom! Y'all didn't see it coming, did you? Guess what I need? Acid. Orange juice has a high, high percentage of acid. I need that. I'm gonna drop my orange juice on the bird. Toasted sesame seed oil. Don't need much of this. This has a lot of flavor. Here comes that tamari again. Not today, but tamari. <laughs> Gonna do another cup. These are some big boys. This is a third cup. That's the I know how many put in there. I guess you guys probably figured that. Okay. I'm a great grant, great all this ginger. Y'all still with me out there? If you're not, that's okay. I'm having fun. Fun in the sun or under these hot ass lights. that off in there. See that all the extra ginger? Take my fingers. There. Uh, this is where it's going to get really crazy. I'm going to turn that off for you guys now. Let you guys see what that looks like. It's cooked up a little bit. I'm going to leave that on the eye. It's going to sit there like that off. I want the heat, remaining heat to cook that. Brown sugar, y'all. Don't skip on the ginger. You know it, mama. I'm gonna actually, I actually add some powdered ginger to it. Also, bam. Double gingery. Half a cup. This is brown sugar. Like the Rolling Stones say. Brown sugar. One. See so y'all not gonna even y'all ready for this y'all? But I got a couple other ingredients. You gonna be like, oh snap! I never thought of that. Three. Four. And my sugar in there, y'all. My sugar, 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 sugar. Oh, honey, honey. Okay. Garlic. Yeah, you still with me out there? You sleep. Hope you ain't sleep. 
You know what? What? We're not going to keep doing this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we have five spice, Chinese five spice. I'm turning it up, y'all. It's about two tablespoons. Can y'all guess what this is? Thai garden spices. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of that in there. I'm gonna squirt, it's a, it's a, it's a paste. I'm gonna squirt that in there like that. And just a tad bit of these chili flakes. Can y'all feel that, Jack? Can y'all feel it? Let's see. I'm giving away all the Thanksgiving leftovers and make room for my fridge. I want to uh, try these. Hey, baby girl, I, I hear you. But this is why I'm orgasmic in the kitchen. I've been doing this for a long time. And you, you see that? This is my recipe. I saw stuff. I looked at stuff. And then I just say, be me. So I'm being one with the birds. So you got... You see what was in there, right? You got garlic, you got Thai, you got five Chinese spice, you got orange juice, uh, you got tamari. Oh. This is what makes it brine. I'm probably gonna put like a fourth cup of salt. Like that. You probably say, this is a lot of salt, but it's just brining it. You're not, you're going to, you're going to, some people even rinse this off once they put it in, because it's going to be in here for like three days. Y'all see that? So you're about to get funky, y'all. I wish I could play some music. Get funky. Get funky. Before I get funky, I'm going to have a drink. Bam! That's kind of loud. I heard the clicking, Derek. I guess I got too loud. I can't get too loud. Derek, I'm like, man, the speakers. Okay. So we got that like that. Well, remember what we're going to do? Just going to just start turning it. And see, I know, Derek, I have to go ahead and I, if I'm going to keep on doing events like this, I guess I got to get a bigger pot because that's one of my problems right now. But what you do is you get patient. My mom was able to cook up like crazy ass shit in a small ass kitchen. And my mom would outcook me. Uh, she's my first teacher. So if she could do it, I ain't making no damn excuses, none whatsoever. And the secret behind it is that a lot of this will soak for three days anyway. See the brown sugar on that? Can you see that? So I'm turning that into that juice. And the orange juice, the acid, starts to also cook the bird. It's an acid effect. What you don't want to do is like get this in your mouth, y'all. It wouldn't be a nice look. Y'all see that? So let me do this. So. so as long as it gets down in there like that. Okay. Now, wash my hands. Open up a bag. We got two bags. We got the, the beef. I'm going to bring everything out so you guys can see everything together. Okay. Now, I have a Traeger grill. I'll talk about that after I finish this. Let me get this one thing at a time. I get so excited when I'm cooking. Having the right tools, my father-in-law is absolutely right. Creates magic wherever you're creating. You have to have the right tools, whatever you're cooking. Good. Let's see, that brown sugar, I want to get out of there. Because I want the sugar to be inside. Marinate, yeah. Okay. I wish you guys could smell it because it's already starting to smell like yum, yum, yum. Okay. Sorry about my back, y'all. Sorry about my back. My back ain't too bad looking, though. If y'all saw the hair on my damn back, you'd be like, damn, what the fuck are you? I ain't gonna talk about where that comes from, but that's a different show. Y'all ready? Ready to pack back these old girls up? Put these hens in the bag. <laughs> so we went a little bit longer today. But I want you guys to see what was going on. Garbage bag, right? 
Open it up. Bring it close so you don't make a mess. Take your first lady out of the out of the pot. And she lays down like this. Take the next lady. Next hand. Lay her next door. Like that. So I'm going to show you how this will look, too. So I'm going to explain this once I finish this. This is in here. Pull this back up so my, my sauce doesn't go everywhere. There. And my last lady. Here. I want her to fall on the floor. Stay on the, on the counter, okay? So you got, I got them all in there, right? Take my sauce, my marinade. So I see the brown sugar actually hanging out the bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm going to stir it up. As Bob Marley would say, little darling, I have ginger in there. We got orange juice in here. There we go. It's doing this thing, y'all. I do this the same way I do when I do my ribs, when I do my brisket. I prefer it in a bag. I'll put this in the refrigerator. It's easy to turn. It's a garbage bag, so it's a little bit solid. Uh, you could put a graphic brand. Yeah. Well, my this is my brand. That is. And being John Ashford. But thank you, sister. So we're going to pull it up like that. Pull the straps at the top. Close these joints up. See, this, I'm just getting started. This is just the protein that's going to be on the table. So I want to get the air out of there. I want all that air out. Because if you have a lot of air in there, then it takes up space in the fridge. And I don't want any space, like, because it needs to be able to fit in this drawer, this meat drawer I had. So what I'm going to do... that tied up so all this inspiration for cooking for me y'all came from Pamela Marie Ashford and for her it came from Dora Dunnigan and uh what I will say okay am I making a mess I want no 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 sorry about that. I need to make sure because I don't need any spills any spills here we go voila Teriyaki. So we got jerk and teriyaki birds. So you saw that. You see the roast. I'll wrap this roast and I'll put that in the bag. I got my cranberry sauce that I'll let, like, what I'll do is I'll leave this on the stove top and let it cool. Now, somebody says, what about spoilage? Ah, guess what's in there that's actually not going to allow it to spoil? Sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, honey. Anyway. You are my candy girl. There, I don't know where these songs come from. But anyway, prep. We're almost ready, y'all. So the Traeger. And I'll show you guys Thursday morning. I'll set up a camera, set up some lights outside. It'll be early morning. I'll put these on because I need my meat to be fir ready first so I can just sit. And the Traeger are wood pellets, and it slowly smokes. I'll put, I have, oh, let me show you, I have it here. This doohickey will stick into the, the roast. And once it gets to 138 inside, my cell phone, because technology will ring and let me know my meat is done. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to know when your meat's done? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful for all of you guys who shared and spent time with me throughout the year with this program. I'm sending you tons of energy and light and blessings. Do me a big favor. Be kind to you and other people you see, especially this week. Peace. Cheers. <laughs>